This is easy to see, and this is also relatively easy to see. It's black, something is green. I once spray painted this uh, tripod, but the paint got removed. And for camouflaging such stuff, you need something to add volume, so the silhouette is not the same. Uh, same counts for the body. Now, the problem all photographers have, they already carry a lot of weight. The camera, the batteries, the lenses, it's all heavy stuff. So, this is why I present you some lightweight camouflage for the body and for the camera equipment. Yeah, those products are by Ghosthood. This is a relatively young company from Germany and they origin from the military sector, so it's all high quality and even with IRR colors. So that means in the non-visible spectrum of infrared light, this camouflage still works because especially in the military that's important, but also for animals that's important because animals can see more colors like we do. So let's also see some infrared and some animals even see ultraviolet light. All right, let's jump to the products. At first, the ghost hoodie. This is made for the upper body and can even cover my backpack. You can see if it's uh, packed together, it's relatively compact. Its weight is around about 300 grams, if I remember right. I will write the weights somewhere down on the screen. Okay, this is like a poncho uh, and it covers up the upper body and the backpack. The pattern is concamo green, so it's a relatively green pattern, but it also has got a lot of brown in it. And you will see it will adapt to uh, a lot of different environments and a lot of different vegetation. Even right here, it will work quite good. It even has got covers for the hands, so you don't need to wear gloves to camouflage your hands. And you can even put a single finger out if you want to touch something. And even like this, you can do a lot of stuff with it. For the legs, they have separate product. That's the ghost legs, but for this video, I will not use it. All right, the body is camouflaged and also my photography backpack is covered. Now I could walk around like this through the woods and be camouflaged. In summertime you can even wear a t-shirt underneath this or only a t-shirt and also a blue or red t-shirt because this thin uh, fabric covers up the color underneath really good. Now let's get to the serious stuff, the camera and the tripod. The camera and tripod camouflage of Ghost Hood is really new. So there's not a lot of information on the internet right now, but in future we'll, you will find more information and also feedback of customers, I'm sure. Okay, the tripod. I have the tripod camouflage in this leg pocket. And as you can see, it is packed in itself and really compact. I don't have the weight in mind, but I will write it somewhere here on the screen. Okay, what do we have inside here? Oh, okay, at first the cover for the upper part. So I will just wrap this around. It's designed open, so you still can operate all the buttons and screws on the tripod, because here you have all the adjustments or uh, adjusting the friction and you still want to be able to use this. Here are flexible silent buttons. Cool, uh, two of them, but I will leave the lower one open so it covers up this area. Then, inside here, there should be the legs for the tripod. Yes. 
and the back is for covering the lower part with the hook. So you can just slide this over, then secure it up here. And now using the legs to cover up the three legs of the tripod. Yes, now the tripod is completely covered and I still can use it like it's meant. So I can change height and I can even loosen the legs because it's so thin. So I can loosen the legs and still change everything on the tripod. The legs are not tight. So you can fit relatively big uh, tripods inside here. And this is really cool. These covers don't protect from impacts or from rain, but it's really light and compact and it camouflages. And in most cases, you only need camouflage. If you want something to protect them from impacts or from rain, you can just add the impact protection or the rain cover and then attach this camo stuff over it. Now the camouflage for the camera. I have got this in this pocket. And you can see it's also really compact. It almost fits in one hand and it's also packed inside itself. It's that long. It's around about 90 centimeters, I think. And it's really big. Right now here I have only a small lens, it's uh, 85 millimeters and usually when you do wildlife photography you will have some big lenses. This is called the optic cover. It's the optic cover because it can cover really big lenses but also a spotting scope. In this case the camera will fit inside really easy. On some bigger lenses the camera will also be covered but if you have a really really big lens you may have to consider buying two of these to cover everything like the completely lens and a camera but in most cases one of them will do to show you how big it is i will slide it over my head and yeah you can see it's it's big bigger than you at think at the first impression now i'll we'll just slide this over the lens then tighten it to secure it there are two elastic um, cords inside so you can really secure it on the lens. It's so thin you can still use the buttons or the sliders and all the rings on the lens. This is really cool. Now you can see here's a lot of extra space. So I could even place my hat here and work like this. Or I can place it like that and see everything on the camera and work like that. Yes. Here's also a button. So when you have a big lens, it cannot flip over by wind. So if I close this button, it's even more secured. I can also put my head inside here. This material is so thin, you can look through it. But not really for observation or for spotting an animal, but for orientation. So I can see that there are the trees, there is the pride house or whatever. And then I can point the camera and work like that. Yeah, those covers are only for camouflage. This is how it's possible that they are that light and compact. Now, if this camouflage isn't enough for you, or there's a lot of dead grass, or you want to add some more leaves, you can add this because here are uh, like loops and there you can just stick in vegetation or you can also use them to make a knot and to knot the vegetation to your camouflaged gear and then you can improve your camouflage however you want it 
So yeah, that's it. Uh, feel free to comment what you think about it. I will link products and the Instagram site of Ghost Hood in the description. Thanks for watching. Bye.